Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Shark CH950 UKT handheld cordless vacuum cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that it offers. So I've got it charged up, let's have a look. Just before we start, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I tend to talk a lot about appliances and especially cordless vacuum cleaners like this. So just click the subscribe button in the bottom corner of this video and then we'll crack on. So just to start off, the vacuum itself, I personally I think it's really well designed. Uh, I've seen quite a few handheld vacuums and the actual design of it is really simple. Uh, the, the actual handle at the top, it's got a nice easy grip handle. Uh, so even if you do suffer with things like arthritis or if you, if you do suffer with your hands and you want something pretty lightweight, then this is a really good one to pick. Uh, it's only around 1.4 kilograms, so there's not a lot of weight to it. Clearly that does depend on the, the tools and accessories that you put on it. I'll cover those in a moment. So when you want to use it, you've got the on and off button at the top here. Uh, it is in a nice position, so it's nice and easy to get to while you're holding it. I know that sounds simple, uh, but some vacuums are not that easy. Uh, some of the vacuum cleaners that we've tested over the years, uh, the button is not within reach of when you're holding it. So personally, I think that's a really good idea to put the on and off button there. You've only got one setting for the suction on this model, uh, so it's just basically on or off. Uh, on quite a few other vacuums, you have got the option for, say, high, medium and low, or you've got several different settings. Uh, but Shark have decided just to basically have on and off. And to be fair, I think for this kind of price point, then that's more than enough. Uh, you've actually got 10 minutes runtime on this. And I know for some people, 10 minutes doesn't sound too long. But the, I suppose most people are going to use this to just vacuum up bits, say around the kitchen or if you're going to do your car or stairs. And what you'll find, uh, 10 minutes vacuuming, uh, with, I suppose with any vacuum, is actually quite a long time. So again, I think 10 minutes is more than enough. So when it comes to emptying the bin, then it is very easy. You've just got a button on the side here and all you do is you press that and then any of the dirt will just come out the front here. Uh, I would recommend doing that in a well ventilated area. Um, I suppose these kind of things can be done into your normal, say, inside bin, uh, but I normally prefer to do these kinds of things outside, especially if it's got a load of dust and dirt in there, then what you don't want is all the dirt and dust coming back up at you. So try and do that outside. So talking about dust, you've actually got two filters on this model, and what you'll find is it's really easy to take apart to clean them. You've got a button at the bottom there, so you just press that, and then that unit comes off like that. So you just put the main unit to the side, and you'll notice you've got a little pink tag at the back. So that's the first filter. That one is nice and easy just to pull out. It's, it's little things like this, putting the, the little tag on there, which I really like about Shark vacuum cleaners. Um, I'll be honest, we've not been dealing with them for that long, as a company, uh, but so far I'm really impressed. And then the main filter is this one at the back here. So if you pull this cage out, I'll just pop this to the side. So this is the other main filter and it's a spongy filter. So that just pulls out of the cage and all of these can be washed. Uh, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos that I've done on YouTube. Uh, I tend to do quite a few cleaning videos where I take a lot of things like this, the cordless vacuums apart, give them a really good clean, show people how to do it. Um, but And that's really why I like things like this, where you can take them apart, give them a good clean. And the only thing is, when you have cleaned these, just make sure they are fully, fully dry before you put it back together. Uh, what you will find is that these could take, I mean, not so much this one, uh, but the main filter here, after you've given it a good wash, and even when you run the water out, uh, it could take say 24 hours to dry and even that's in a, a warm atmosphere. So what you can do is you could buy some spare filters. Uh, that's something I do tend to recommend. Uh, if you are going to use it quite a bit, then I'd recommend getting some spare filters because what you don't want to do is to wash these filters and then put them to the side because the vacuum cleaner will be out of action for a, a day or so. Um, and then once you've done that, then this just pops back on there so that filter just goes on there and I just normally clip it back into place so don't forget to leave the pink tag that side so it just makes it 
a lot easier to access next time. And then that just drops in the top there. Uh, just another hint. So if you are cleaning all of this, then the, the rubber seals, the seals around here, uh, just make sure they are nice and clean. Just give those a, a good wipe. Uh, normally something like a damp microfiber cloth is okay. Uh, and again, just make sure it's nice and clean in here. So that just pushes back in there in place. And then when you come to put it back together, you just locate the top part here and then it just clips back into place. So just to mention that the bin capacity on this, so the amount of dirt that you can get in, is 0.45 litres. Now, initially you might not think that that's very big, uh, but if you're comparing it to other upright cordless vacuums, then that's really on par. Uh, you will find that even some of the more expensive cordless vacuums, that's around the same size. So again, a really good size bin. So to help with your cleaning, Shark actually provide three tools with this model. And the first one is this. You get this cheeky little crevice tool. And all of these tools are designed just to sit on the end here. So there's no buttons, there's no latches. They, they just push on and then pull off. So it's really nice and simple design. Uh, so this one, this is the, as I say, the crevice tool. And this is really designed to get into, say, small areas. So if you're doing down the side of your, uh, say, car seat or down the side of your sofa, then this is a really good one because it's nice and thin. So that's the first one. The next one is this. This is a stiff bristle brush. And with this, this is good for things like carpets, uh, or if you're doing the stairs, um, or if you've got uh, things like a, say a, a muddy stain on your carpet, say a dried footprint, uh, then that could be a really good one. And I do like these kind of brushes uh, because these are really good because they can get into the carpet. And again, that just sits on there like that. And the last one is this one. This is the mini turbo brush. Um, this kind of design is really good. So this tool is ideal for doing things like the stairs, uh, or if you've got an area that's really got a lot of dirt on it, then it's actually a brush that rotates underneath. I'll just show you this. So I hope you could see it moving around. And really the advantage of this is if you didn't want to use any of the other tools, then by having the rotating brush, then it really gets into the carpet. Uh, it's the sort of thing mainly to use on carpet, you don't necessarily need it on hard floors. Uh, but with this, uh, it is really designed as a pet accessory. So if you have got, say, animals or even family members with long hair, then this is really good at getting that up. And if you did need to take that tool apart, then all you'd need to do is just get the... you just got four screws in the corner here. So just undo those, then you'd be able to access the, the brush itself. Uh, it shouldn't need to be done that often, uh, but it's sort of thing, again, if you have got, say, family members or animals that have got long hair, then it might get wrapped around there, so you might just need to take that apart on the odd occasion to clean it. So clearly being a cordless model, then at some point it will need to be charged, and you get the just a standard wall charger with it. Uh, this is designed to go into, into any socket, and with this model, it just plugs into the back. So it just pops in like that. Uh, most of these models, they should charge with, it's normally around three or four hours if it's completely flat. Uh, but it doesn't come with a wall bracket, so wherever you're going to locate it, you just need to make sure that it can sit near to a main socket. So if you're thinking of buying one of these models, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I suppose with this kind of vacuum cleaner, uh, if, if you are after something that you don't want to pay a fortune for, you don't want to go into hundreds of pounds, but you want something with a good performance, then this is certainly one that I would consider. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my quick video on the Shark CH950 UKT handheld vacuum cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video itself. Uh, also, if you are thinking about buying one of these, and if you've got any questions on it, then just pop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, then let me know what you think. I'd always appreciate the feedback on any of the products I'm talking about. Thanks for watching.